This time on Embark with Mark, we're going to do a 60 year review of this S Pod. Let's get into it. So the S Pod. I've had this thing since 2014. That's when I bought it and installed it. So it's been about six years and it's been fantastic. Um, let's go over a few things. So the first thing I want to go over is I want to go over, have I had any problems with it? And there's a few questions with that. Let's go over the first one. Now, a lot of people will have questions about this. And I know I did when I first was looking at buying this. The biggest question is, the brain box, the S pod, the power box, whatever they call it, the box that's in the engine bay that all your accessories connect to. With that one, the biggest question is on the TJs, it mounts above the engine, right above the valve cover, so it's exposed to all the engine heat. Does that create a problem? No, it doesn't. I've had it for six years, like I said, and I've not had a single problem, not one. Um, I even got my Jeep kind of hot one time because I had a thermostat go bad. It's still not an issue, and when you look at the box, you can't even tell that the engine got hot around it. I mean, you know, one, there's enough airflow, but that box is like that, you know, it's very close. So when you're looking at that, the system is built and designed to be able to handle that spot. You know, there's no, there's just no signs of wear, no signs of nothing. I've not replaced a fuse, not even a relay, nothing. I've not done anything to it, but screw things onto it for accessories and that's it. So it's been great. Don't worry about that part of it. Um, let's go on to the next part. So the next question, what comes with it and is it easy to install? You have four main parts, at least if you have a TJ. The first part is your switch and bezel panel. That's the panel that mounts all the switches. It comes mounted together. Um, the second part is your harness that connects the switches to the box under the hood, which is number three, the box under the hood, the S pod power thing, whatever they call it. And four, you have wires that go from your battery, positive and negative. Um, it's very easy to install. 30 minutes to an hour on a TJ. The hardest part is you got to drill a hole through the body, but they give you a grommet and everything. It's done right. And they show you how to do it right. They tell you exactly where to do it, where to measure, all that stuff. Um, I've never had to call customer service. I've never had to call anything about anything on it. It's just straightforward, works. You know what you're doing, no questions. Uh, and everything comes in the box. It's just a complete system. So let's go on to number three now. Would I recommend it? I recommend it because it's one of the few products, and I mean this, that's giving me zero issues. Not one issue have I had. Not an issue installing it. Not an issue putting different accessories to it. Um, even on mine, you can't put high amperage accessories like air compressors and winches, but there's a fix for that because the ARB, um, you know, the ARB compressor that I have, not the twin, just the regular, the twin also comes with, comes with its own wiring harness. And in that, you just run the switch wire to the S pod. So again, you're not out any more money. So, would I recommend it? I will say it one last time. Yes, I recommend it. It's an awesome system. You won't regret it. The best thing about it is that I don't have to think about it being there. It's just there and it just always works. So there's nothing wrong with it. I know it's expensive, um, but you know, here the adage is true. You get what you pay for. And the fact that I don't have to think about it, just they're there and I just press what I need and it just always works. I never have to think about going through, is it going to work? It's not even a question. It looks like it's factory in the Jeep. So I don't even question whether it's supposed to be there or not. It just, it's a fantastic device. So with that, I hope you guys like the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you like what's going on on the channel, hit subscribe down below. And as always guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.